Okay, so in the box, got a gel badge, you got your handset, you've got an OBD2 cable, you've got a USB cable, and you've got a flash drive. What you want to do is take your cable, it only fits in one way, this tang must face the back, literally plug it in there. Then you want to plug the OBD2 plug into your OBD2 port, which is located just underneath the headlight switch. It's going to come up with operating system loading. Just wait, let it do its thing. Okay, now we're going to press tuning. Forward, press the bottom right hand arrow. I'm going to select our vehicle, so this is an XR5, but in the Europe it's called a Focus ST. I'm going to select Focus ST, bottom right hand arrow again. Confirming that's the right engine, 2.5 ST, 221 HP, HYDA engine code. Yep, press the bottom right hand arrow again. Key on, so this is ignition on, engine not running. So in an LSLT, just turn the ignition on like that. If you have an LV, so a push button start, just push the push button, but make sure your foot is off the clutch and you'll just get ignition on. So we're gonna hit okay. Stock file missing, start to read ECU. So you wanna click yes. Now just leave this be. So reading in progress, do not interrupt process. Do not un turn the ignition off, unplug the cables, anything like that. If your battery's been a bit weak, you need to have a new battery or a battery charger fitted. All right, now that that's finished, switch ignition off and disconnect it. So ignition off, press OK, unplug the handset. Now the user software, you have to run it on a Windows computer. If you're one of those really tech savvy people that can run a virtual computer of Windows on a Mac, then go for your life, but don't ask me for customer support because I don't do with it. I'm not that smart. I just follow using the Windows software. So. Windows computer, doesn't have to be a laptop, can be a desktop because you're not ever gonna be connected to the car with the computer and the handset at the same time. You just wanna take that flash drive, plug it in. And you've got three folders here. ECU files, readme first, which is a written version of this video, and then software. So you wanna open software. You have gotta be connected to the internet because it's a .exe file and it's gonna download it. Turn off any firewalls or anything like that. Follow the on-screen instructions. Hit yes. Hit next. Go scroll down to the bottom. Accept the agreement. Hit next. Hit next. Install. Now, when it comes up connecting to device, it's looking for the handset. So we're gonna take the USB cable, plug one end into the computer, and plug the other end into the handset. Now just wait, let it do its thing. It'll normally search for updates, which do take a while, don't interrupt them, just let it roll. All right, so it's come up with an IDS installer. It's basically asking for an update. Hit OK. Let it do its thing again. Oh, 
I should really. Press finish. Looking for updates? Let it do it. Okay, now that that's down, all you gotta press, download data. Click on start. Now you wanna save this to the USB drive in ECU files. And you wanna title the, the file name, your name. So this vehicle belongs to a lady called Jane, so it's gonna go Jane, and then surname, And then capitals, read. Click save. Then you're going to want to open your emails. You're going to send it to info at oemdenied.com. You're going to put whatever your order number was. So I'll just make this one up. One, two, three, four. You can say hi. ECU read attached. And then you're going to attach that ECU file. Hit send and we'll send you one back. All right, so once you've got your email back, just want to run the user software again. Make sure handset's plugged into it because it won't load. It will just look for it. Let it load and do its thing. All right, once it's booted up, are you going to press upload data? You're going to find the file. Now you'll always know that it's the file we've sent you because we'll always put the VIN number in it and we'll put a date in it. Select it, press open, hit yes. Hit OK. And you can shut the user software now. All right, you want to plug the handset back in. Remember, plug only goes in one way. Plug it in, pop the ignition on. Wait for it to load. You're going to press tuning. Continue with writing the file, hit yes. All right, so we've got the original file, which is your original factory tune or whatever was on the ECU. And we got, this is my OEM denied stage three. So you're gonna press that. Press your bottom right hand arrow. Remember, hook a battery charger up to the car. The ignition is on. Now, when this is happening, you're gonna get engine systems faults and fault lights galore on the dashboard. Do not unplug the handset, turn the ignition off or interrupt this at all. If you do that, you will brick your ECU. So just leave this be, let it do its thing. It does not take long. Turn your ignition off. Press OK, and you can unplug the handset, you're done.